Welcome guys, we're gonna just get right into this haul from Amazon, I went crazy. So we are gonna start out actually with this painting that my friend dropped off today. I had been bugging the hell out of her to make me a chakra uh, painting for my meditation space and she did an amazing job. I love the color of the wings and how the chakras go up and the energy coming out of the hands. I always love the uh, blue lotus at the bottom, but she did an amazing job. I cannot wait to hang this up. I already uh, unboxed these, but these are hair wraps, like turban style scarves that I wear on my hair. I've been trying to look cute for my husband during the quarantine and wearing my natural hair out. So <laughs> he's going to get wraps for the next couple of days because I need to put my hair into a protective style. And that's what those are for. Just a variety of wraps. I already know what this is, so we're just going to crack this open. I can't get it open fast enough. I already know what it is. And it is new decks, new decks, new decks. So I have the um, Affirmators Tarot. And when I realized that there were Affirmators um, Oracle decks and Affirmation decks, I had to have them all. So I got the basic. This one is about family. And I'm going to be using all these decks in um, future weekly prediction videos that I'm going to be doing for my Facebook group as well as here. So go ahead and subscribe so you can see me doing unboxings of these as well. This is the only love deck that I have. All of my other decks that I have are like dark and <laughs> mean. So I'm glad to have this love deck. Let's see, this last one is about work. So yeah, I'm going to be doing... Um, weekly readings, predictions, and I'm just going to be using these at the end of the uh, readings. And I'll be doing an unboxing of my Affirmators decks. I just love them so much. I love any decks that have like animals on them. I kind I just want to break them open right now, but <laughs> let's get on with everything else I got here. You, it's like you already know what's in the box, but it's still like Christmas every time you fucking open these things up, right? I could already smell how nice these candles are. And these are candles that I'm going to be using for like little witchy spells and manifestation spells. And I believe I got a protection one that I'm going to be using for um, readings for clients so that I can protect myself as I'm doing readings for other people. They smell absolutely lovely. So yeah, this first one is um, positive energy. On the front it says, I am conduit for universal energies, allowing me to do good and righteous things. May this pure and positive force guide my every thought and action. So I will be using this one for um, client readings to protect myself. The next one is abundance. May an abundance of goodness flow freely into my life. Allow me to be receptive to treasure that present, to treasures that present themselves in enriching my life's journey is the abundance. And of course, last but not least is money, 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 money. And of course, I like to do money manifestation spells and rituals. And uh, this one says, uh, may prosperity flow freely through my life. I sense a natural attraction to wealth and its comforts. Let me embrace prosperity in all forms. And I'm going to take the tags off all of these and use them as like bookmarks or put them in my man manifestation journal. And then I'm just going to keep reusing the wax on all of these candles. And I'm going to show you how I do that here. They smell so good. And this one's going to be quite boring, but it's going to help me um, with what I'm going to do with the candles here in the future.
So when I ordered these, I had no idea they were going to be this long, and I did not know it was going to be this many. So <laughs> that's my surprise as I'm opening up this box here. Um, they're wicks for candles, and I thought I was just only going to get a few and short ones, but... I got a bunch of long ones, so it looks like I'm going to get into candle making. What I bought it for was um, my protection candles are all out, so I was just going to recycle the wax from the three candles that I just purchased into the uh, glass containers. And I also have this little Vaseline container that I use to collect wax from my Prosperity candle. But the wick in there is already burned out, so I needed a new wick for that. This is my prosperity candle that I've had for a while, and um, what I do is I burn it on on top of um, inside of a crystal bowl, and all the wax that falls out of it, I just transfer to this little container and burn it, so the candle gets burned all the way through, and I don't just have a bunch of wax collected all over the place, and that's what I'm going to do with these wicks and the uh, the three candles that I just purchased. I'm also going to call my cousin who makes candles and see if she wants some of those wicks because there's no way I'm going to use all of those. So yeah, these candles I'll burn all the way through with those wicks and my glass containers. I'll just take the wax and put them in there with the wick so that I can just keep reburning the wax and no nothing gets wasted. I do not like waste. Last but not least, I have been dying to get this doorknob. So my sacred space is uh, the closet that um, when you enter my home, it's like the one of the first closets you see. So people mistake it for a coat closet, which it's supposed to be a storage closet. But um, I need a lock on it because my toddler's getting curious and she likes to come in there and grab my Buddha and my, my, my um, crystals off of my altar. And um, I just like do readings in there and I meditate and pray and it would just be nice to have a little level of security. So I bought this super awesome fingerprint door lock and you, um, I believe you can use your, your phone too to unlock it, but it's very heavy. As you can see, I pull it out here. And the moment I put my thumb on it, it's already going to try to read my thumb. It beeps and lights up, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, so you just um, you uh, connect your thumb to it and your phone to it, and you can unlock the door that way. So that's going to be an awesome addition to my meditation space and kind of just keep it on lockdown. And I know my sacred stuff just stays untouched by anybody besides myself. I can't wait to put that on. So I just want to thank my friend Renisha again for this painting. Um, she actually has a reading on my channel. Um, I think it's titled, What Does Renisha Need to Know About Herself Right Now? But it's a beautiful reading about a beautiful person. And uh, I just really appreciate her for making this for me. I really appreciate it. It is so beautiful. And then stay tuned for future weekly update readings and unboxings of these. Um, I'm probably going to do an unboxing of all of them at once because I just love affirmations and I just want people to just kind of get hip to daily affirmations and just saying something positive to themselves every day. So go ahead and subscribe and like this video so that you can be um, updated about the weekly readings that I'm going to do with these decks. I cannot wait to crack them open. So I'm going to show you my Affirmator tarot deck that I have up here. And it's the first tarot deck that I've ever purchased. So it's the first tarot deck that I ever got. And I just fell head over heels in love with it. It's animal based and it just has beautiful colors. And if you want me to do a walkthrough of this tarot deck, go ahead and comment below and let me know. And I will do a full walkthrough of this beautiful deck. It is so amazing. It gives such 
great, beautiful, heart, heartfelt readings. And uh, I believe when I connect it with the other, the other decks, the other Oracle decks, it's just going to do a, a lovely spread for the week. So um, I'm going to connect that with the other Affirmator decks to do weekly updates. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And um, I always link my decks below, the ones that I use, my favorite ones. So um, you can check those out, purchase a deck of your own. Also, you can comment below if you want me to walk through any of these decks. I have a bunch, so I can do, <laughs> I will do walkthroughs all day long, baby. All day long. I love all these decks. So I'm just going to put everything in their place. I can't wait to get this painting up. It is so gorgeous. There it is, and it just kind of puts the finishing touch on my meditation space. It just goes so well with everything else. I love it. And then I realize I have another <laughs> Affirmator's deck, so that one's about creativity. And the first three-card draw I got on this one was just so beautiful and amazing, so I can't wait to add it to the uh, weekly readings that I'm going to do. I cannot wait to do those readings. It's going to be so awesome. And it's coming along quite nicely. That's my meditation space. The candles are on the altar there. And there's my decks. So watch them grow. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow.